On November 8, 2013, Typhoon Haiyan struck the Philippines, killing over 5,000 people and displacing millions. While geographical recovery efforts make progress nearly a month after the tragedy, the emotional recovery continues globally. For students at Boston University, healing has come in the form of fundraising and cultural support. Christine Kelly is the Internal Affairs Representative for BU's Filipino Student Association. Uh, a lot of our members are very proactive when th things like this happen. They want to help. In addition to raising money in the GSU, FSA held a benefit show on November 20th. Drawing nearly 18 singers, dancers, and performers from BU and beyond, the variety show raised over $1,000 to be donated to the International Red Cross. Kelly says this fundraising has played a big part in coping with such a tragedy. Yeah, I think that's the best way for us to cope is to try to help. Um, since we're not physically there, this is this was like the best way that we could find our way, ourselves um, dealing with this tragedy. These fundraisers offer a place for people to come together. Christian Cho is the assistant director of Boston University's Howard Thurman Center. It makes us feel less helpless. And I think that's why a lot of fundraisers are there. It's not, yes, money is important. Uh, resources are incredibly important. Uh, but I think part of it is is acknowledge, acknowledging that we are an interconnected world. Cho says this interconnectedness is felt across many cultures. Aditi Sastry is the fundraising chair for Alpha Chi Sigma, a non-Filipino fraternity on campus. It's human nature to feel more to feel more affected by it if you know you're from the Philippines or if you're from the area or if you're cultur culturally related to it, but. Um, that doesn't mean that if you aren't, that you don't feel anything at all. Aditi's group responded to the typhoon by donating a percentage of the profits from one of their fundraising events to the disaster relief effort. None of us in our fraternity are actually Filipino, but we all have friends who are Filipino, or you know, we know people in our classes, or we've been to the Philippines. Um, and just, just the fact that our friends across the world were struggling and um, they needed our help. That was enough to get us to want to do something. Though relief efforts do breach cultural boundaries, Cho says the role of culture cannot be overlooked as an important part of the coping process. These powerful friendships were a pillar of support during the difficult times. The important thing about FSA is that we're all friends. Like, they know that they can talk to us whenever, whenever they feel like they need to. Just if they need someone to just listen or give advice, we're here for them. But if they need anything like other than that, like counseling or anything, anything um, more professional on that level, we're well, we're so well connected throughout the school that I believe that we would be able to help anybody. When Cho became aware the FSA planned to hold benefit show, his immediate response was to make these resources available. I reached out to Behavioral Medicine and Marsh Chapel to see if there were professionals who would be willing to be at the event in case. Students want to talk to anyone. Cho acknowledges the importance of student-to-student -student support in times like these, but stresses that students shouldn't be hesitant to reach beyond each other. BU students need to focus on their school, on their on their courses, and being students, and and that's that's hard if they're constantly trying to support each other. We want that to happen. We want students to support each other, but we also want to make sure make make sure that they, that students know that there are professionals here who are here specifically to help students through difficult times. With a background in counseling himself, Cho says that professional help may be especially important to students. One of the things about seeking out a professional, one of the goals and one of the benefits, I guess, is that students can go without any sort of pretense of, and, and because there's no existing relationship, there's no fear of losing a friend. Though it still may take months to completely recover from the emotional and geographical destruction of Typhoon Haiyan, Cho has faith for students coping at BU. I, I think students are a lot more resilient than, than we think. Um, I think students have an incredible ability to work through this. Collectively, as people, we're a lot stronger. Now, like I said, individual students who may be directly impacted, different story. But collectively, I think we don't have to worry as much. And though the healing process looks like a long path ahead, Kelly says FSA's continued plans for aid will be important. Things like typhoons are not really in, under our control. That's something that it's like fate almost. But what we can control is our response to it. And I think if as long as we respond with strength and like pride in the community, I think we'd be able 
I think you'd be able to go through anything. Reporting from Boston University, I'm Nicole Jakes.